now, Nolan the Ninja, back with some more training. And today, we're going to be working on hand-foot timing. So hand foot timing is something that's one of those kind of small details, but it's really, really important. And it, you can be applied to a lot of moves in every single form. From Song Ha 1, the side kick, knife hand strike, to the fifth degree black belt form. It can be found in every form, and it shows that someone's like really, really good at a move. And it really improves your form. So what exactly is hand foot timing? Hand foot timing is when your hands and your feet um, do execute a technique or land at the same time. So here, I'm on the first degree black belt, so I'm gonna do a segment from the first degree black belt form, or Shenzhen, here, jump side kick, right here. So if you ever do this without hand foot timing, Oh gosh, I'm too used to doing it with hand foot timing. Okay, here, and then do it, which doesn't look great, but to for some people it might be like, oh yeah, that's just a normal form. But then, you see this, boom. That makes it look so much smoother. And it's really, when you're landing a technique like this specifically, and you're gonna wanna kinda try to balance, keep your hands up, and maybe even pivot a bit if you need to. Kind of like you're about to do a side kick or about to do a crescent kick. Um, so then you're going to want to land, but you can kind of break this into different parts. Three for this case, but to some other cases it might be different. Um, let me actually do this, do this uh, segment from Song on One. So you side kick, and you're here. So this is the first part, just balancing here and and or executing the technique before. So then, once, once you're balanced here, then you're gonna learn to work on getting that the next technique right. Here it's this. Oh. Boom, there we go. So then you're gonna wanna work on landing your foot and your hand at the same time in the correct technique, in the correct stance. So going back to Shinjun, there's a big difference between this here, that's a sparring stance. It could also be a middle stance facing this way. Um, then, versus this, the proper stance, a left back stance. So this can really be applied to so, so many moves in every single form. So I hope that this helps you train and make your forms even, even better. Um, and if you feel like you motivated or something, like you're feeling down, like, meh, I don't want to do this, man, ugh. Then, just think, think about something that makes you happy and excited. And you can use that, use that as your motivation. And that will hopefully help you go from this, ugh, to this. Right, I'm working on this. I'm training, I'm working on this. This feels great, man, yeah! So it's really just getting yourself in a positive, excited mood, and it gets you your motivation back. So I hope that helps.